good morning every day good morning every morning and good morning every evening let it all be good amen god bless you good morning grace gang this is the day that the lord hath made we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it because god is good and he is worthy to be praised you better know he is worthy to be praised this is a falcons tuesday victory tuesday i just gotta tell y'all 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 know how i am about my birds brother in the battle of the birds last night i tell you god god just god knew i would enjoy that now you say what you want to say god knew i and i would enjoy that you know and i'm sure everybody said well they prayed my prayer reached the throne last night thank y'all man i'm telling you god is so good i enjoyed myself i was just y'all should have saw me y'all have thought i was shouting at church man i was screaming to the top of my lungs you know i got so it got so tickled because i hadn't screamed that loud in a long time i went to bed i'm like ooh, got a little dizzy i i enjoyed myself i just you know and i and i and i it was an it was an it was an example to me of what god was saying that i have come jesus said i've come that you might have life and have it in abundance to the full until it overflow and i think one of the things i'm trying to do with all christians i'm trying to get them to learn how to enjoy life some people are so i can't even i don't even know some people are so stuck in something where they just can't enjoy life and they think they're doing god a favor and god said i've jesus came that you might have life and um and have it in abundance to the full until it overflows and and uh i tell you what i'm 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 hoping that you will finally get a hold of that that you will finally get a hold of uh letting the not so serious serious stuff go and you know and learning how to enjoy life learning how to enjoy the journey of change and the journey of transformation um learning how to enjoy you know get up getting up in the morning and enjoying a beautiful sunshine and a walk uh down the street uh i guess it depends on what street you're walking down so praise the lord um but you gotta learn how to you gotta learn how to enjoy things you you gotta you gotta quit taking everything so serious because you remember yesterday when i was talking about this the internet just it just went crazy man we just lost power it was it was weird but we were just talking about that we we figured out satan's game and basically his game is to try to attack us in our mind our, our emotions um to try to, to take try to take everything serious from him because he's trying to get us to move off of our stance he's trying to get us to leave the realm of the finish and we're not going to do it we're not going to leave the realm of the finish no matter what happens in our lives there's a finish at the end of that sentence i'm telling you you know uh doc come in he say well you sick uh, my healing's finished uh well you're in a battle against the forces of hell the victory is finished well you know they're gonna be closing your plant down how you gonna make a living my care and provision is finished and so the enemy some of you i i i count them wanted to kind of peek into some of your days yesterday to see what kind of day you were having i i I, just, I believe a lot of people were just confronted and tempted with a lot of stuff like where did this come from it's like you know i love the way somebody said on the instagram platform we got the devil on the run because why we are going to realize and receive and stand on the finished works of jesus christ okay you can't just throw those scriptures away and then show up with five more to contradict something that's so clear i mean we stand in the finish the the faith of god uh uh is the is it is in our mouth is in our heart and that that faith is in our heart and we're speaking from that faith and we're living from that faith and we're loving from that faith and I'm I'm just excited about it, man. And and uh, so it's finished. So I announce to all of your lives this morning, I announce that um, whatever you will face today, whatever you will deal with today, whatever trials will come your way, hurt, 
pain, disappointment. I'm telling you right now, your victory is finished. So realize it. Listen, let me say it like this. Your victory is finished and it can't be undone. What happens when you realize that? It, it's like, man, you can't be whatever comes your way. You're like, well, I realize my victory is already finished. So take a breath because uh, you're fighting a losing battle. And um, so that's that's um, that's that's going to be life. It's going to be you're going to be going on this journey of life. You've decided that I'm going to I trust in Jesus. I'm going to stand on him. I'm going to stand on his final words. It is finished. And uh, whatever happens in my life, the first thing I'm going to realize is that, well, it's Jesus did it all. It's finished. Something happens to your attitude. Something shields you. Something stops you from yielding to fear. Uh, and that's the powerful thing about it. So I declare that you're going to have an amazing day today because amazing is finished in your life, brother. I'm telling you. Your day is amazing. Your the grace of God's amazing, and 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 just receive that, guys. Just just receive it. You know, set your will to live in the finished. You know, you know how I say, set your will to um, forgive. Set your will to forgive. Don't wait till something happens and then negotiate with yourself on whether or not you're going to forgive somebody. You 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 set yourself. You know, that's that's who I am. You know, I forgive that. That's who I am. It's it's not. Oh, let me see if I can work it out. No, I, 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 I'll forgive you regardless of how I feel. Well, it's the same thing with standing on the finished works of, of Jesus. I that I call this thing done before my emotions line up with it, you know. And I think the, the thing that really convinced me was the fact that God calls the end at the beginning. OK, he calls the end at the beginning. He knows your end. He knows the path that he has prepared for you, uh, a path of, of full of good and not of evil. Praise the Lord. And if anything should confront you today, uh, I'm in the finish. And I tell you, that drives the devil nuts because it's like you won't even entertain his temptation to try to get you to step off the platform and to, to step out of the stance of finished. And so I'm telling you, this is this is life changing. When you begin to live this way, you begin to renew your mind in the finished. And um, I'm not giving up on you. I'm going to keep talking about it as much as I can, declaring it as much as I can, demonstrating it as much as I can, because I have seen what God is able to do with a people who will just rest in what has already been finished. My God, my God, my God, I'm ready to shout rest. And what is already finished. So to believe by resting. Think about that. Every time you say, well, I believe by resting because resting in something is is the uh, it, it authenticates whether or not you really believe something. I'm not talking about believe it just from your head. But I'm saying, man, when you look at a person, you know that they're uh, in belief. You know that they're standing because of the rest that they have entered into. And so. Yeah, praise God. So I don't care what it is. Some of you might have tried to, he might try to attack you as soon as you woke up. Uh-uh. No, not going to happen. Not here. Not now. Not today. Because I dwell in the realm of the finish. I live in the dimension of the finish. And I'm going to tell you something. When you get that down, oh, my God, the glory, the glory, the glory. I'm telling you, how many of you are ready for the glory? The glory, the glory, the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I'm excited. I'm just thanking God. The glory, the glory. I just I just announced that on you right now. The glory, the glory, the glory. Hallelujah. I say it again. The glory, the glory, the glory. Hey, why? Because we're in the place of the finish now. We're in the place of the finish. So I'm so excited about that, guys. Uh, God is so good. He is so, 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 so good. So a couple of things I want to do today. I want to make sure we get this in. 
And so I want you to say this after me. I am Psalms 91 equipped. Say it again. I am Psalms 91 equipped. I live in the finished. And all that pertains to my life is already done. I declare it right now that the angels watch over me today lest I dash my foot against the stone. And today I will operate in an enormous amount of wisdom. I'll know what to do. I'll know what to say. I'll know how to move. Praise God for the Holy Spirit who's my guide in this life. And I declare that I'm blessed already. I'm healed already. I'm delivered already. I'm prosperous already. I'm victorious already. In Jesus' name, all that his blood has done for me, I realize that right now. I receive it or I believe it by receiving. And it is done. In Jesus name. With long life. He will satisfy me. And he will show me his salvation. He will show me. Great deliverance. From that which binds me. And restricts me. And I declare wholeness. In every arena of my life. In Jesus name. Amen. Boy I mean I felt that. Right. Right. And so. Listen you're, you're ready for another day. You're, you're ready for. Do you realize the authority. That was released. You realize we're echoing the promises of God. You're realizing you're echoing what's finished. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Now, I want to I want to show you something. Just travel with me uh, here. I want to show you something I think will bless you. I really believe it. Ephesians chapter. Uh, two. And beginning at verse eight. Now, I'm going to start something here. I'm going to talk about the gift giver and then I'm going to show you if I have time. I'm going to show you four signs that you're living in condemnation and not believing God's word. And and I'm telling you, man, what Jesus did to you, he did it. So you won't so you won't live a life in condemnation. Remember the last thing he said to that woman who they tried to who they was going to they, they tried to stone. Um, Jesus said, does anyone, any man condemn you? And he said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Something holy and amazing happens in your life when you finally are able to walk away from condemnation. But let me show you what the gift giver has done. Verse eight, Ephesians two, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, not of works, let it, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. We were created in good works, which God has before ordained that he should walk in them. All right. I'm going to just straight out emphatically without hesitation, say what I want to say here. Grace is a gift, salvation is a gift, and faith is a gift. All that is a gift. It, it's, 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 it's all about grace. So by grace, you have grace. Yeah. So by grace, you have salvation. So by grace, you have faith. Why would I say it like that? Because they're all gifts. You have the you have the faith of God. It's it, absolutely it, it's I'll show you in a minute. It's Jesus's faith, but Jesus's faith is a reflection of God's faith. And then the what we call our faith, what we call our faith 
is is Jesus's faith. What we call our faith is God's faith. OK, so he said in, in verse nine, not of works, lest any man should boast. So you can't boast about nothing in verse eight. Nothing. You can't boast about the grace. You can't boast about the salvation and you can't boast about the faith. You can't say my grace, my faith and 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 and, and my salvation. And, 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 and I'm saying that that this way to indicate you're trying to bring something to the table as if it's not a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. Praise God. He said, it's not of works. So now it's the reason why it's not of works because gifts are not extended based on works. Gifts are something that's given without works. Okay. You didn't work for those Christmas gifts. I hope you didn't. All right. So there's no boasting. He said, now, for we are God's workmanship. We're created in Christ Jesus. And if we are created in Christ Jesus, then out of us will flow good works. Right. You don't need to add good works to faith. You don't need to add works to grace. You don't need to add works to salvation. No, the works come out as a result of those gifts, as a result of 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 that faith that's put in you good works flow out of you which god has before ordained that we should walk in those good works now let me show you something here go to galatians chapter uh two and here's a scripture that we just kind of want to act like it's not in the bible he said i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet not i but christ liveth in me and the life which I now live in flesh, I live, I live, I live. The life that I am now living in the flesh. So all of us are alive in the flesh. There we go. The life that I now live in the flesh, he says, I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, now listen, folks, what are we going to do with that scripture? He says, I'm living in the flesh and he tells us how we live. He says we are living by the faith of Jesus Christ. The just shall live by the faith of Jesus Christ. And literally our life is coming from the faith of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, get this guys. My life is coming from the faith of Jesus Christ. My salvation came from the faith of Jesus Christ. Um, my, my deliverance came from the faith of Jesus Christ. My prosperity comes from the faith of Jesus Christ. My peace comes from the faith of Jesus Christ. I am living my life from a gift that has been extended to me. Hallelujah. I'm living my life from the gift of faith. The, I live by the faith of Jesus Christ. So you can't go back to, well, I live by the faith of Jesus Christ to I live by my faith unless you understand that your faith is his faith. And that's exactly what it is. It's God's faith, all right? And now his faith is wrapped up in a body of flesh called Jesus. And now you and I are living by God's faith that's wrapped up in the flesh of the body of Jesus. And I now call it's please understand what I'm saying. It's his faith. We live by the faith of the son of God. All right. We, you can't ignore that and develop in your mindset. No, it's my faith. And then you keep trying to add works to you, to your faith. No, your faith will produce good works or release good works out of you, but you don't have to add your you don't have to add works to faith in order to be righteous you don't have to add works to faith in order to be justified no out of your faith glory to god flows the work out of your faith flows the righteous the gifts but you gotta you gotta quit trying to look at it as something you worked and you gotta start receiving from the gift giver it's 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 his gift and uh, I, I hope y'all got that. I live by the faith of the Son of God.
I remind myself of that every day. Anytime I, I go, you know, you know, I, I access my I access this grace through through the faith of God, through the faith of Jesus Christ. You know what that does for me? I never, ever even think about my faith being too weak. I never, ever even think about all. Oh, oh, I don't know if I've done enough to make my faith strong enough. I'll never think about that. My faith is dynamic. It is God's faith and it is perfect and complete and it works all the time. Hallelujah. Well, does that mean you ain't going to never go through nothing? Absolutely not. I mean, that's why you got God's faith for all of the stuff you're going to go through. That's why you got God's faith because you live in this flesh and you have to live by the faith of Jesus Christ to overcome this test of life. Yeah, nobody said you're not going to go through nothing, but you have God's perfect faith. Hallelujah. I'm trying to, to to behave myself. Now, one of the things that living one of the one of the benefits of living by the faith of Jesus Christ is that you will be delivered from condemnation. Uh and so condemnation, it's awful. Condemnation causes you to question who you are. You you don't think you're enough. You don't think that you can that God wants to use you or you think you're condemned like a building, you know, not not good for use. All right. So the question I had. What are signs that I can tell? Signs that I can look at that say to me, I am living in condemnation and I'm not. I'm not living by the faith of Jesus Christ. I'm living in condemnation. I thought this might help you because last thing we want to do is go around um, condemned and then deceiving ourselves uh, as if, you know, well, I'm not condemned. I'm not condemned. It's like the dude that fell down the steps and he said, this, this, this didn't hurt. This didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. And, you know, he towed that head up. Right. So what are some signs? Number one, real quickly, and I'll give you some scriptures that you can go and look it up. But. Number one, you think about the past a lot. If you think about the past a lot, that might be a sign that you're living in condemnation. You think about the past a lot. You know, Philippians 3.13, you remember what Paul says, I'm forgetting those things that are behind and I'm reaching to those things that are before. The question is, are you thinking about the past a lot? Are you, you're waking up every day and you have several thoughts about your past that is an indication that you might still be living in condemnation. All right. So deal with that. Right. Right. Number two, you struggle trying to forgive yourself. You struggle trying to forgive yourself. Right. Second Corinthians 5, 17. You struggle to try trying to forgive yourself. Um, Is that you? What is it that's happened five years ago, 10 years ago, maybe 20 years ago? And you still haven't passed that on to God. Today, you be free from condemnation. Your deliverance from condemnation is over. Amen. Your, the victory is, is finished. It's done. It's done. It's done. Right? It is done. So if you struggle to try to forgive yourself, you're you're living in condemnation. Number three, you now, now this is big. If you have a judgmental and critical spirit, that is a sign that you are still living in condemnation. If you have a judgmental and critical spirit, that is a sign that you're still living in condemnation. Wow. So now judge yourself now. Watch yourself. If you find yourself, you, you can judge everybody <laughs> and you're critical of everybody. I mean, you find yourself just taking a person apart, just taking people apart. You're still living in condemnation. And, and I'm telling you some people tell a lot about themselves by how they what they do. And. God, God wants you free from condemnation, but you 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 live by the faith of Jesus Christ. That's what sets you free, man. And then that condemnation tries to just get you down. And notice condemnation tries to bear fruit in your life, judgment and critical spirit. OK, so I mean, when I see people 
and they come online while we're talking and they're critical of me. The first thing I think about, oh, my God, they're, they're still going through condemnation. Oh, God, free them. That's what I think about. I don't look at the, the thing and get all crazy. I was like, you know, I mean, I used to because I didn't understand that. But now I understand it. I'm like, now empathy goes out. And I'm thinking, wow, they, they're still struggling with condemnation. Wow. And then number four, uh, you feel unworthy. You feel unworthy so that means you are you, you're not you not only feel unworthy but you feel like you have no value and you know what happens when you feel like you have no value you will find yourself devaluing yourself or tolerating other people devaluing you because you just don't you just feel unworthy and i'm telling you man by the faith of the son of god i mean you're worthy and that's finished. It's done. It's complete. And it can't be undone. You just got to you got to recognize that, you know, in the eyes of God, I'm worthy. So I'm not going to live my life based on that through the eyes of other people. I want to live my life through the eyes of God and through his eyes. I am worthy. Uh, so I said I was going to give you some scriptures. So for the first one, think about your past a lot. Philippians 3.13. I would go in the NASB translation because I want you to read this, the NASB translation. OK. And then uh, number two, you struggle trying to forgive yourself. I'd look at Second Corinthians 517 uh, in the NLT, Second Corinthians chapter five and 17 in the NLT, because this will help you to meditate on these areas. And then you have a judgmental and critical spirit. Matthew chapter seven and verse two, Matthew chapter seven and verse two in the Passion Translation, the TPT, the Passion Translation. And then finally, what we talked about feeling unworthy, Romans chapter five and verse eight. And it really speaks of it in the ESV translation, Romans five, verse eight in the ESV translation. Um, so at this particular point, man, trust God enough to, to know that while I'm in this flesh, I'm living by your strength. I'm living by your power. I'm living by your wisdom. I'm living by your faith. I'm living by your grace. I am living by everything that you have gifted to me. Okay. Without ever feeling like I've got to do something to earn it, or I've got to do something to deserve it. And I just think, I think you ought to be free. It's so hard to live life in the full if you're struggling with condemnation every day. So hard. Uh, and so let it go and uh, live, a, live a, a fun life today, dude. Live a good life today. And um, ask God to help you to get over being concerned about what people say about you and how they look at you. You know, that is right. Approval addiction. Ask God to deliver to deliver you from people. Ask God, to, Lord, help me deliver me from people and then get that finished framework. My deliverance from approval addiction is finished. You, you see what I'm saying? It's finished, you know, and, and then realize, OK, well, man, that's a done deal. I might as well go ahead and rest in that. I might as well go ahead and rest in the fact that I don't live my life anymore seeking the validation of men. And the reason why that's important is because if you are so concerned about people's approval of you, you know what happens? You can't serve God because you're afraid of what people are going to think about you. <laughs> you can't serve God. I mean, that's why they dog you out is to try to get you to move off of that, that stance. I tell you what, I want to serve God. I want to serve God and I want to give it the best I possibly can in the best way I can. And, you know, I won't get the approval of everybody, but like Paul said, that I might win some. All right. That I might win some. Well, praise God. My time's up. I pray that this carries you throughout your Tuesday. Uh, I think I think like weird spiritual stuff is accelerating right now. And coming here 
to be clothed with uh, some encouragement and be clothed with the word, I think is a really, a really neat idea. Um, some of you just need to take a deep breath and say, everything's all right. Everything's all right. Glory to God and give him praise all day today. I am. I'm so, so happy. Praise God. Well, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, I think I'll be in the pulpit tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff to say and a lot of stuff to finish. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, and I'm excited about it. So I will see you from the pulpits of uh, World Changers Church tomorrow. And um, then I'm join back up with you on Thursday and Friday. And uh, let's just just keep it up. Keep growing. Keep loving. And um, that's what he means by sanctify. Separate yourself from how the world does what it does. And and just um, say, I'm, I'm going to live a good life. I'm going to build boundaries up. And, and you're not I'm, I'm not going to let you bother me today now. I'm not letting you do that. Not today. I'm not letting you do that. You're not going to bother me today. I done made my mind up. I built a boundary up and uh, uh, keep that to yourself. All right. You gone, go. How do you say go on somewhere with that? <laughs> keep that to yourself. Praise God. And you just go ahead and praise God and let God use you to help somebody else to have a, a better day. And just remember when you see that judgmental and that critical spirit, man that's just a that's just a dude who's still living in condemnation and he just beating himself up and you know now you know so now when you see that you can proceed to kind of help somebody and say listen bro um i know somebody who can help you get over all that and you'll be good amen well all right guys love you very much have an amazing day today i know i will and i know you will too god bless you